The bacteria that we study are naturally occurring bacteria that, that degrade cellulose in the environment. So we were looking for substrates and there are four Tim Hortons vendors here on the university campus and there's always huge lineups and always lots and lots of cups lying around so we thought well maybe we should try that. I'm David Levin, I'm a, an associate professor in the Department of Biosystems Engineering. I'm Richard Sparling, I'm an associate professor in the Department of Microbiology here at the University of Manitoba. We take a cup, it can be cut into little smaller bite-sized pieces. When the bacteria are not there, you can see in this bottle which contains media in a cup, there is no degradation. But when our bacteria are added, they're capable of cutting the cellulose fibers into small chunks that they can eat, and they're producing ethanol and hydrogen and CO2. Our goal is to optimize the conditions so that our bacteria will produce the biofuels we want when we want them. One of the key factors in scaling up is defining a low-cost food for the bacteria, so which is why we're looking at agricultural waste or waste processed paper, things that are going to the landfill that could be used as a as a feedstock for producing higher value products. The bottom line of this is that we have a lot of agricultural waste and it's a commodity. People do not understand or do not realize that there is value and one of the goals of our research project is to add value to that waste. Working with bright, enthusiastic, motivated students uh, is very re rewarding. I really believe that the bioproducts industry in Manitoba is incredibly valuable. I think it's, it's the way of the future. And agriculture is, is not only food, it's, it's bioproducts, composite materials, uh, biodegradable plastics. Everything that we can be using in our day-to-day -day lives ultimately can be derived from agriculture. So the bioproducts industry in Manitoba is really the base of, of the bioeconomy here in Canada.